Today I want to come to you with the makeup for women that hate wearing makeup. <laughs> if you are interested in seeing this video, then keep on watching. I wanted to create this video because I know a lot of women around my age or and younger, just women in general, that do not like to wear a lot of makeup. So I felt like I need to do this video because I am the same way, especially in the warmer months. I do not like to walk out the house with a whole face full of makeup. That is not what I do. So, I'm just gonna show you a simple technique or just some things that I do to have a natural, natural feeling <laughs> look to my face. And it makes you look like you're, you're just naturally glowing. So anyway, without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I start off with cleansing my skin and I use my vitamin C by Go Pure and my hyaluronic acid and I do have codes for them I will link them in the description box below and right here on the screen and I also use my super peptide serves from Go Good Molecules as well so I really really affordable serves but I use them every day and I also use my Pond's moisturizing cream for my skin okay so my skin is thoroughly moisturized and i like to start off because lately i've been having my pores even though i do um use a mask i'm having little pores right in this area so i use this um milk it's by milk makeup and this is a blurring stick is what they call it just a blurring stick so anywhere you need you want something to be blurred this is what you use. <laughs> so, just in this area. I love to use a tinted moisturizer. One of my favorite is my Maybelline Dream. I am completely out of that. So I'm gonna use my NARS. Whatever BB cream, and this one has a SPF, a sunscreen of 30 in it. And this one does as well. And this is going to act basically as my foundation because it is a moisturizer, it's tinted. It gives me a light coverage without feeling really, you know, heavy. And I love it especially during the spring summer months this is my go-to all the time next i take a concealer a concealer that matches your skin okay this is just what i like to do i like to go in and take my concealer and just in those little areas that you may need to fine tune just a little bit because you kind of want it natural but this is a um a concealer by shiseido and i will put everything that i use in the description box below on the eye area it's a little bit different and i take my beauty blender and i kind of just blend this in Next, what I do, I just work on my eyebrows now. I start off with uh, my Brow Wiz by Anastasia Hill or any brow pen that you have. I'm in soft brown. Well, I'm using soft brown and I'm just making sure I brush my brows upward first and then I just make a line right here. As you can tell, right to where my, where my arch is going to be and then down okay so I do this on both sides by um, Revlon color stay I'm in the shade Auburn and I use this because my hair is more on the reddish side and I'm using stroke light to make it look like your hair Now with my brows, I really do not like um, 
it's the square looking looking brows I really like my brows to look natural I use this instead of concealer it's these little pencils to highlight um, this is one by Anastasia Beverly Hills but I think it's like 20 some dollars but you can get the NYX one from um, Target's Walmart and this pay like three or four dollars it does the same thing I like to just get them just to see if it does get this one from NYX and medium okay so but right now since I purchased this one from Anastasia Beverly here I'm gonna use this one go ahead and just use it up <laughs> but from now on I will just stick with my NYX because I love that I just like the way it's the same color medium and it matches my complexion and I like it but if you like the Anastasia Beverly Hill one I'm also in it says base 2 so yeah and this is what I've been doing lately and I love it I love the way my eyes come out I really save a lot of time doing it this way just clean it up so now I look like I need a little bit of color if you feel like you need a little bit of more concealer just go to the places where you feel like you need concealer and just apply it so right now what I'm going to do I like to um, you can put a little bit of concealer if you're going to put some eyeshadow on I'm just using it right now just so my eyes will not look too tough. I'm not wearing eyeshadow or anything but I am going to use a little bit of bronzer because we're not going to contour today we're just going to more so bronze the skin and let me see I'm going to use my big old my, my bronzing brush and I'm just going into just whatever bronzing powder if you have a bronzing powder if you have a powder that's a little darker in your complexion you can use that as well I just want to give some kind of warmth to my skin and that's what I'm doing I'm just bringing some warmth into my skin and I'm doing that here right here on my forehead just a little bit of warmth and I'm telling you I do this all the time we're not contouring but you know you just have to add <laughs> a little bit of color to your skin and sometimes I do not like to get rid of all my blemishes I do like them sometimes certain ones certain freckles just in the area where <laughs> it just makes it look a little bit more natural you know so this is what I do first make sure everything is blended Even with this, I'm just dipping my brush in here and just going over my eyes with this. Not doing anything major because I just want to give my skin more of a skin like finish. At this point, you can apply some blush if you like. If not, if you do not like blush, do not even use blush. I'm going to use this peachy kind by, Milan, by Milani, it is in number 08. I just like to have a little peachy type look on my skin. I just always think that looks so natural on all skin types. I like to line my eyes like normal. myself a little wing then you want to add your mascara whichever mascara that you like I'm just trying this new one that I received a while ago in some kind of little box so but whatever mascara that you like to use And another little trick that I like to do as well for your eyes, it just 
take a little brush with a little tiny um, bristles right here. Go up under your eyes with the bronzer that you use. It just, you know, I just like the way the look that it gives you. It gives you, it looks like you do not have anything on, but then again, it doesn't. So it gives you that. Mm. I put a little bit of concealer and I'm using the Age Rewind, one of my favorite concealers. And I'm just taking it and applying it only to the area that I needed. If I needed in this area, then I will apply just a little bit in the darker circle areas, like right here. It's a little dark, so I will apply just a little bit to give me some brightness to make sure there's no kind of right in this area for my eyes. And if you do not have any, you can skip it. You don't have to wear a concealer. It's what I tell you. If, it, if you do not have any issues or problems in that area, I wouldn't wear it because sometimes as you get older the more less is best okay so I just like to use a little bit in that area right here where I'm just a little bit I have a little bit of darkness right in this area okay same thing you can set everything I'm gonna set everything with my um, and with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish or you can use your Laura Mercier powder, whatever powder that you want to use just to set, if you want to set. I'm just gonna set this because it just gives it, there's no makeup, no, there's no makeup look. It gives it a better look once I set it with this powder. And this is a, like a sheer powder, doesn't have any color to it, which I love. And up under your eyes as well. I just brush a little bit. Notice I'm always just brushing a little bit of everything on, okay? This and is a line of called Coffee Bean from Rimmel London. Use like a new lipstick. It's gonna set as usual. After I use my setting spray, I go back in. I like, I just put a little bit of highlight right on this cheek area. And I'm using Milani highlighter in 03 Sun Glow. I really like the way it looks after you set your foundation with the setting spray. Well, after you set your makeup, we really don't have any foundation on today. <laughs> and just put a little bit here on the nose area and on this. And this makes you just look really fresh, clean, natural. I love looks like this. And this is basically the look. I'm going to show you the option with another lipstick. This is how it looks with a different lipstick on. If you want to just spruce it up anytime you want a effortless look and you want to you can always throw on a red a burgundy some kind of deep looking lipstick to tie your look all together so i hope this video was helpful especially for those women that do not like to wear a lot of foundation i'm like that especially i'm telling you during the summer months i like a really a really natural looking feel to my skin and just a natural look so anyway guys thank you so very much for tuning in as always for my new subscribers welcome you're now part of the Nisi J family and check out my website www.nisij.net again thank you guys so very much for tuning in as always peace and love until next time Mwah. for you say